Okay. Oh, Terry, um, this is Dorothea Lang, mother and two children on the road, and this is Tule Lake in California. Um, this one interested you partly because of the comparison of this one, which is a mother with two children, and which is back in the Depression, and this one is still the same. <laughs> They're still the same, yeah. yeah. That many years, and they're still, it's still the same. This was 1939, around in the 30s, and here we are in 2009. Yeah. So how many years and, later? Yeah. And it's still the same. I mean, what do you think of the uh, mother with the kids and the, she's got a nipple on a coat? And the only, I think the only thing different is, like nowadays, they wouldn't let you have your kids like that. They would take your kids from you. And, um... You have how many kids? I have three. And where are your kids? They took them from me. Who has them? Um, my mother-in-law. Well, now they're grown. They just, my youngest one just became an adult. And just turned 18. Really? Yeah. But you... But they, but I've been here for a while, yeah. My mother-in-law had them. And she took them from you? We no, um, the state took them from me. Um, I thought that story I was telling about the police, well, they, they, they took them from me. Um, they made up this whole thing, and, and they took our house. They took everything from us because I wouldn't do what they wanted me to do. So, um, how long has it been since you've seen your kids? About nine. Well, since I've been here, eight years. Wow. And this, here's another one of a mother and a uh, baby. She's a, this is a, a, an immigrant woman, somebody from Oaxaca, Mexico, living on a camp on a hillside outside Del Mar. And you were, you were saying you, you wondered about people who lived in the country, yeah. what they did. Yeah. You, you want to... They, they couldn't survive like, like we can out here. I mean, because there's nothing for them out there. And I know there was probably many, many people out there. And you don't think about things like I never thought about that growing up at all. And yeah. Until now, I'm homeless and I see it. And, and that makes me think about it. Mm -hmm. And I see the people out that aren't homeless, how they can just not think about it. And so as long as it's not shown in their face, they don't think about it. Um, I always say to them, you know, yeah, sure, hide in plain sight, you know, close your eyes, I'm not here, you know, and mm -hmm. that's how that's what they do, and mm -hmm. that angers me. Sure, to be made invisible. Yeah, yeah. I tell them, <laughs> I get smart with them sometimes and say, if I'm so invisible asking you for help, then I guess I'm this invisible when I tell you what I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> okay.